Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to version 1.11 of OptoApp. 1.11 is a rather small update, and the reason for this is that most improvements and bug fixes I made for 1.11 are already published as a small update for 1.10. In fact, there were over 20 updates for 1.10 in the last two months. For 1.11, I focused on three things. Firstly, there's now a tutorial view in the app, where you can see all tutorials I make for OctoPrint and Octo. At the moment, it's not too many, but there will be more in the future. The second big change for 1.11 is support for Android 12. This means hopefully everything should work as expected when you update to Android 12. And there's also a new feature in Android 12, which Octo app makes use of. Google announced a new material uDesign, which basically allows the system to style all the apps you have. For Octo app, this means the blue accent color you had on Android 11 and below will now be replaced with a system-defined accent color. Usually it's picked up from your wallpaper or you can set it manually in the preferences. The last big change for 1.11 is the OctoApp Companion plugin, which you can install on your OctoPrint instance. This plugin is not yet available in the plugin manager of OctoPrint, so you can't just simply search and install it. The reason for this is that I don't want everyone to install it at the same time, so I can see whether everything works. If you watch this video, just use the link in the description to open the GitHub page and there install instructions. It's super simple. For the rest of the users, I will gradually announce a plugin in the app over the next couple weeks, so I can slowly ramp up the number of users that make use of this plugin. But what can this plugin do for you? At the moment, it can only deliver push notifications, but in the future I will add more functionality to it for things that OctoApp can't do on its own. So push notifications, what does this mean? With older versions of OctoApp, you could already get notifications, for example, when your print ended or when your filament ran out. But those were not super reliable because they basically worked by OctoPrint observing the print and then when Android, for example, put the app to sleep to conserve battery life, you would not get the notifications or the notifications would be delayed. The remote notifications should be much more reliable and also work if you are not at home. The second type of notifications you can receive are progress notifications. The OctoApp Companion plugin will send push notifications to OctoApp whenever the print progress changes. Those notifications will show up exactly what you know from older versions of OctoApp, but they can also be delivered over the internet. OctoApp will basically merge the live notifications you know from old versions of the app and the remote notifications together to always show you the latest information about your print. And this is version 1.11. Of course there were also many bug fixes and small improvements, but those mainly went into 1.10 already. Make sure to subscribe for upcoming tutorials and more videos. As always, enjoy the app and happy printing!